What's up YouTube, my name is Braxton and I'll run Brax 3D. I graduated as an electrical engineer back in 22 and since then I've been traveling the world selling different art pieces that I create. I've done events in different places like New York, Atlanta, Miami, Chicago, Las Vegas, LA, and I even did a sold out event in Japan. I hand make all my pieces using a combination of 3D printing, laser cutting, and CNC routing. All made here at home. So before we get started, I want to go over some constraints for the project. Constraint number one. Being my first real video, I wanted it to stay fairly budget friendly. So I only want to use components located around the shop. Constraint number two. Lasers can be very dangerous, so I want to make sure to take all the safety precautions in this project. I'll be working with a class 4 laser, meaning that any slight look at it will completely take out my redness. So I don't want to go blind for this project. Hi. To protect me eyeballs, I'll be using these laser safety goggles. These will block any of the harmful oh, light from getting into my eyes. I want to also have a couple of safety options that'll let me turn the laser off if anything goes bad. These lasers can easily catch things on fire. And my shop is in my basement, so it's in my best interest not to burn my house down. Constraint number three. I want to put a two week deadline on this project because I have a nasty habit of starting projects and never finishing them. So in order to get this project done, I have to have that deadline. So that's enough talking. Let's build a laser. So this is what I'm going to be using to shoot out the lasers. This is the old module from my laser cutter that I recently replaced with a stronger one. Laser cutters use high frequency light to cut through different materials like wood and acrylic. We combine this laser with computer design to cut out anything we want. I use this to make most of my signage. So the first thing I need to do is figure out how to control this laser module. From what we know, we have four pins on the laser head. Just guessing, we know we have to have a positive, a negative, and some sort of control wire. That control wire or TTL signal will let us control the power of the laser at any given time. I'm not really sure which pin is which, so we're just gonna plug things in randomly and hope for the best. I added a connector pin and soldered the leads so I could test the laser. So let's get that hooked up and see if this thing cuts on. Well, hopefully, we hear some fans kick on when I plug this in. Oh yeah, let's go. So, you hear the fans running, that means we figured out uh, which pins are the plus and minus. We just have to throw a PWN to that signal. Um, and then we should be able to shoot some lasers out of this thing. So what is this PWM or TTL signal that I keep talking about? That's basically a variable voltage that will allow me to control the laser from 0% to 100%, depending on the signal that I send to that pin. So I'm gonna put five volts on that control signal and see what happens. When I tap this to the line, it should shoot out. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wait, eye protection. Make sure when working with lasers, you use correct eye protection. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on. Let's see that thing again. Oh yeah. So smells terrible in here guys, but you can see we are burning the wood, so it is working. Nah, it's cool. <laughs> All right, let me stop before I catch the house on fire. Well, a basement fire took over a home in Smyrna this morning. Officials tell us that rocket fuel... So I'm going to use a microcontroller called an Arduino Uno that will allow me to control this PWM signal. I can take the input from this potentiometer and control the laser using that. All right, let's start twisting this and see what happens. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it starts to get brighter as we go. Now it's starting to burn. Yeah, twisting this will let me control the brightness, power level of the uh, laser. Perfect. So let's go over some of the electronic components. Now the brains for this project is going to be this Arduino Nano. This is a microcontroller that will allow me to send different programs to it to perform different functions. With this, I can control the power level of the laser, the brightness of the LEDs, and I can even add some sound. I'll be using an OLED LED display to show the power level in different menu options, a push button to simulate the trigger, a simple buzzer to produce the sounds, some transistors, different switches for turning power on and off, and a normal size laser for red dot aiming. So to power this system, I'll be using some 18650 lithium ion batteries. I'll be using six of them in this project. 
I'll be using some of these BMS modules to take the 3.7 volts from the battery to 12 volts. And then use some of these bug boost converters to take the 12 volts to 24 volts that we need for the laser. I also have this voltmeter that will let me monitor the battery and incoming voltages. Now that we covered the electronics, let's get into the 3D printing. So before we can print, we need to make the design. For all my 3D printing, I use a CAD software or computer aided design. This allows me to 3D model anything I can think of. So I design all the parts for the laser and get them ready for printing. Now 3D printing can definitely get annoying. You'll wait three to four hours just for a part not to even come out right. There's also times that the 3D printer decides it wants to make spaghetti. Like, relax, my guy. You're not Italian, you're Chinese. <sighs> this is what can happen with 3D printing. That's more like it. All right, let's print the rest of the parts. Alright, so we have all the electronics, all the 3D printed parts, now let's assemble it. Let's start from going from this prototype circuit to something a little more permanent. I start by soldering the Arduino and all the other components to a circuit board. circuit board fits nicely in the case, so I go ahead and screw it down. I glue the red dot into its casing and attach it to the front. I solder wires onto the push button and place it into the handle. Now we got the faceplate. We're going to install the switches, the encoder, Now let's build the battery packs. I connect the batteries to the BMS and make sure we get out our 12 volts. Now time to put it all in the case. Alright, we're looking pretty good. You sure about that? So I'm almost done the second battery case going to solder literally the last connection and I short out the board with the damn tweezers. <sighs> Bro, it's four in the morning. <sighs> I got one more of these things. <sighs> All right, we fixed it. So here's a final look at the circuit board, got the back plate, got the battery packs, the handle and everything. All right, time to put it all together. See if it turns on. All right, moment of truth. Perfect, fans come on. Just realized it was pointing at me that whole time, so. Good, <laughs> Good thing it went well. <laughs> All right, looks really good. Just like today's sponsor. Brex 3D. Elegant handcrafted signs. Shop today at Brex 
Mix3D.com. All right, let's take a look at the final product. So let's go over how this thing works. I have two ports here on the side, one for uploading code, the other for 24 volts. We have the switch on the right that powers the system. This second switch gives 24 volts to the laser. And we can use this encoder knob to select through our menu options. We can adjust the laser power level Turn off the sound. Control the red dot. Change the brightness of all the LEDs. The battery packs are located on the front. There's two different packs, one on each side, and they plug into the bottom of the handle. And of course, we had to throw the name on there. All right, we have some matches set up. Let's see what happens when we shoot it with the laser. All right, here we go. So this red dot is a little bit off from where the laser is. So if I aim a little bit lower, I should get it. There we go. Nice. Oh, let's see if we can relight that. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing will... Wow, that is crazy. So I'm just shooting the matchstick. No more chemical left on it. And it flames right up. Yeah, that's crazy. Definitely look out for part two where we shoot some crazy stuff with this thing. <laughs> Oops. well that wraps up the video thanks for watching really hope you enjoyed it i worked really hard on this video so i'd appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe i'd love to keep making videos for you definitely subscribe and be on the lookout for part two where we hit a bunch of different items with the laser thanks again for watching i'll catch you in the next one